Coming up in home team weather, it is getting colder by the minute now. 50 degrees, tough schools are 41 to 2 below. How cold does it get tonight? And how about your weekend forecast? Any warmer weather to talk about? Home team weather straight ahead. Stay with us. Changes are happening this week in a part of Tuscaloosa hit hard in the April 27th storm. We'll show you the progress and what's to come. And how much is too much to spend for your child's teacher's Christmas gift? Some lawmakers are making that decision for you. The News at 5 starts right now. And we are glad you're with us tonight. I'm Lynn Brooks. And I'm Terry Brewer. Those stories on, are on the way, but first, some big changes are happening when it comes to your weather. Yeah, after stormy weather overnight and into today, are we in the clear? Chief Meteorologist Richard Scott has a first look at Alabama's home team weather. Hey, Lynn and Terry, good Monday night to you. Yeah, we're in the clear now. No severe weather issues, no more rain to deal with across the area, but we had that one issue, a beneficial rain across the state, but one damage report out of downtown Birmingham, an EF1 tornado touchdown. The National Weather Service found a damaged path link one mile long, 250 yards wide. There were several homes uh, damaged. In fact, about 30 homes damaged uh, close to downtown Birmingham with that one storm. But again, that was the only issue of severe weather we had fortunately out there, especially the time of the night this activity came through. A lot of people were still in bed. A lot of rain, though. Certainly a great rain event out there. It's getting colder, though. 49 down Tuscaloosa again, dropping by the minute. Uh, we'll have low 40s at 7, 30s at 10. How cold does it get tonight? Your forecast is coming up. Thanks a lot, Richard. And now a reminder that you always have to be on the lookout for severe weather. The National Weather Service says a tornado touched down this morning in an area that was not under a tornado warning or watch. The National Weather Service has confirmed an EF1 tornado in North Birmingham near Finley Avenue. It touched down just before 5 o'clock this morning. Reports show the tornado had 90 mile per hour winds. Birmingham Mayor William Bell says there was roof and window damage in the area. No reports of any injuries. Today's rainy weather did not stop dozens of volunteers from coming out to support the Rosedale community in Tuscaloosa. Rosedale Court is one of the many areas along Greensboro and 10th Avenue that was destroyed by the April 27th tornado. Today, a park in the area got a boost from some volunteers, the United Way of West Alabama, Tuscaloosa County Parks and Recreation, and a national organization called Kaboom, as well as other local organizations teamed up to get the playground put together in just one day. Volunteers say they hope the new playground will help residents living in the area feel like things are getting back to normal. That means being able to shop where they normally shop, go to playgrounds they normally go to, worship where they normally worship. Uh, so we knew that was the most important thing and obviously for this community getting the kids out into the playground that they used to be at and now it's actually going to be even better. Rosedale Court is in walking distance of the new playground. Tenants are moving into the new facilities just in time to enjoy the new equipment. Tuscaloosa Housing Authority representatives say tenants started moving into phase one last week and will continue through the beginning of next year. A second phase is also underway and vertical construction should also begin after the first of the year. We'll have much more on this story tonight on WVUA News at 6. Well, if you're buying Christmas presents for your child's teachers, here's some information for you. The Alabama ethics law, ethics law actually puts a limit on how much you can spend for those teachers. Nearly one year ago, the new ethics law was passed in Alabama and actually said teachers could only accept gifts at a certain value, but there was no definition put on that value. Tuscaloosa AEA Director William Tennell says the 2012 spring legislative session set a value of $25 for gifts given to teachers. Tanell also says the new change was to help the public understand there are guidelines even when giving gifts. Really the legislation clarified things for the lower level public employee like your teacher, your garbage man, your postal carrier, people like that that sometimes we like to give gifts to and just want to make sure that parents and general public knew that there are some rules that you have to follow and if you follow those rules it's perfectly legal to give your gifts to your teachers. So if you're shopping for a teacher or just shopping with a budget in mind, we'll have a look at some gifts under $25 tonight on WVUA News at 6. Funeral arrangements have been made for the late police officer Jason Guin. Guin died in a car accident last Thursday when he was off duty. Visitation has been set for tomorrow at Sunset Funeral Home at 5 p.m. Funeral services will be held this Wednesday at 11. Also at Sunset Funeral Home, the burial will follow 
at Mount Hebron Baptist Church. The clock is ticking for government leaders to make a decision on the fiscal cliff crisis. If lawmakers fail to strike a deal before the end of the year, tax increases and spending cuts will go into effect. Some analysts say it could push the U.S. economy back into a recession. President Obama met with Republican House Speaker John Boehner Sunday at the White House to discuss how to resolve the fiscal cliff. A few details were released about that meeting. And also on your money watch, Macy's is giving you more time for some last minute shopping. The department store chain announced it will be open for nonstop shopping the last weekend before Christmas. Stores will open at 7 a.m. Friday, December 21st and will stay open until 7 a.m. Sunday, December 23rd. Macy's hopes to attract a bigger chunk of America's holiday spending, which the National Retail Federation predicts to be at about $586 billion this year. Well, not everyone will be shopping at the last minute. In fact, many people have already gotten the bulk of their holiday shopping done. I'm not in that category. Me either. But good for not them. at all. <laughs> but FedEx expects today to be the busiest shipping day of the year and in its history. People are scrambling to get those Christmas presents sent on time. And an estimated 19 million packages will be sent via FedEx today. That's nearly twice the number sent back in 2005. But if you are one of those last minute shoppers and still need to ship those gifts, no worries. FedEx says you have till December 17th to ship your presents by ground. Software companies could soon be handed down stricter rules when it comes to collecting personal information. The Obama administration has started an investigation on cell phone applications to see if they're violating the privacy rights of children. The problem is when agencies gather kids' personal information, then share it with advertisers and data brokers. These spying apps are also able to determine a child's physical location, receive their friends' phone numbers, and more. The Federal Trade Commission warns parents the marketplace for mobile apps can be a digital danger zone. Coming up next in home team weather, it is getting chilly tonight. 48 now in Tuscaloosa, 41 and 2 below, but how cold does it get? And we'll look at the weekend forecast. Weather straight ahead, stick around. And could those salty favorites make you crave a sugary drink? Find out what the experts say. And Bobby Petrino is back in the coaching game. Gary Harris will tell you who hired Petrino later in Alabama's home team sports. 